Hey, welcome, my name is Oli and today we'll check this, the Luch Out Overlight Mouse. It's a 3D printed Superlight mouse inspired by the shape of the G-Pro X Superlight. Luch Out offers all the different types of 3D printed mice. Most of the shapes are inspired by some famous mice. See the link in the description. So, today we will check the technical specs, sounds and quality and the shape and performance in gaming. And at the end I will give you my pros and cons of buying a 3D printed mouse. Before we started, I want to thank Slutshout for sending me this mouse for this review. So, first let's check the specification of this mouse. The PCB of this mouse comes from the Deluxe M800 Pro, which has a 3370 sensor. So we have 90,000 dpi, 1000Hz polling rate, USB-C connection. We also have a small battery. I have approximately 15 hours of usage, but you can research the battery in 30 minutes. Regarding the weight, this mouse is amazing light. With 38 grams, it's impressive. You can feel that it's lighter than the Starlight from Final Mouse. The material used for 3D printed is known to be light, with low density, and with the cutouts and small battery, you can achieve the super light weight. You can adjust the pre travel of the buttons with a small screwdriver, which is included in the box. The side buttons and scroll wheel are 3D printed as well. This mouse has the KL8 switches. Let's do a quick sound and quality check. The click feels very good, it feels very reactive and the fact that the pre-travel is adjustable make it more customizable. You hear no rattling sound, the scroll wheel feels ok but has too much movement for my taste. But it works fine and it's not noticeable while playing. Now regarding the rigidity of the shell, well, it's a 3D printed mouse so it's normal to have some flex. But in this case I was a bit surprised that it feels solid. The shell feels like a shock absorber for your end. It's a bit relaxing, but you should not press too hard even if it feels solid. It's still a 3D printed mouse. But for a normal gaming usage, it's fine. The texture of the mouse feels very grainy because it's 3D printed, so it's special. But there is no sharp edges and it's well finished. And finally, let's check the shape and performance of this mouse. The size is more between small and medium. I have the Overlight version which is inspired by the Logitech G Pro X Superlight. The click's eye feels the same, but the mouse is a bit shorter and so the M fell lower at the end which makes it perfect for claw grip if you have small to medium end size. It's kind of an optimized G Pro X Superlight for claw grip lover. You also have 6 corpets dot skates which do the job. I will personally replace them with other third party skates but that is a personal choice. In gaming, this mouse feels very competitive. Luchao designed this mouse with a low gravity point, which is great for me. As a claw grip player, I love this shape, and the lightweight is awesome, and the mouse is well balanced. So, to sum up, the Luchao Overlight mouse has an impressive, great build quality for a 3D printed mouse. Moreover, you can find other mice with different famous shapes, like the shape of the G305, with only 37 grams. It's a fun mouse to play with and I really enjoy it. I will sure continue to use it also to check its durability. But for now, I have no complaints for this 3D printed mouse. If you are interested in this Overlight mouse from Luchart or want to see other mice, check the link in the description. If you already try a 3D printed mouse, leave a comment below. I am curious about your feedback. So that is for today, I hope you enjoyed this review, if so please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe in order to not miss the next one and if you want follow me on Twitter. Thank you for watching and see you next time, bye bye.